the whole entire world should have a Zoom tattoo across their head or Facebook Live or Instagram Live. And if you heard, now there's more opportunities on Messenger. So much live streaming going on right now. We're going to talk about what you should be doing to make sure that you're taking full advantage of it and some things you probably shouldn't do as well. My name is Rick Barker, host of the Music Industry Blueprint podcast, former manager of superstar Taylor Swift and someone who actually has been doing the live stream for a long time. I was blessed to do one of the first Facebook Lives with an artist actually when we were at American Idol and I fell in love with it right away. And I'll tell you why I fell in love with live stream is that I realized that I could get in front of an audience every single day. I started treating those platforms as venues. So I had my worldwide venue on Facebook. Then thankfully Instagram came along and gave us that opportunity. Now we can go live on YouTube. Now you can go live on Twitch. There's ways that you can do things on Messenger and WhatsApp and FaceTime. So the opportunity to get your message in front of the world anytime you want is there. So what can we do to make ourselves look pro? What can we do where people aren't just swiping past our live, but they want to see our live? First and foremost is you need to treat it as if there's already an audience. Okay, so that's step number one. Let's treat it like there's already an audience. When you start live on Instagram or Facebook, you may recall they'll say, let us go notify people that you're going live right now. Well, if you sit around and wait until people show up, or you go, well, I'm just going to sit here and wait till somebody shows up on the replay, which is, by the way, where the majority of people will see it, you make yourself sound like you don't have an audience, that you're not that big. So my suggestion is start playing immediately. Let Facebook, Instagram, YouTube go populate. Let them go find some people. As people start showing up, start acknowledging that people are there. So that's the first thing. Start playing as if there's already a hundred there. Uh, pretty soon after you've maybe finished that first song, go ahead and start asking people where they're from and to type in the comments to tell you where they're from. The reason that you want to do that is because as activity and engagement starts happening in real time, the algorithm goes, wait, something's happening with this video right now. We need to go let more people see it. We're going to go expand the reach. So that's a way for you to get extended reach. Then you can sit down and talk. A lot of people that work with me as we're really encouraging them to utilize the, the virtual tip jar, uh, play in for tips, things like that. There is a whole YouTube video uh, that I did on that so you can go back and watch that. But pretty much what we're talking about is after you've played some music, after you've played, you know, talk to some people, introduce some people, maybe play another song, then you can bring up the fact that some of you are asking how you can support me. Now, this is all in how you phrase it. A lot of you are asking how you can support me, and I've thrown a link up into the description, or if you're on Instagram, you know, I've pinned a comment that has the ways that you can do that, and I really appreciate it, and then go right back into the music. One of the other things I want to encourage you to do during your live streams, if you have merchandise, have the merchandise kind of visible. One of my clients does this well. She plays live, so she'll, she plays a little drum, she plays the harmonica, she plays the guitar, and she does it far enough back where Madison will also put CDs and t-shirts. Let people see merchandise. Let them know, especially now if you're watching this and we're still in COVID or you're not getting to tour as much, you could say, you know, we had these shirts, they were going to be $20 at the show. We'd love to give them to you now for 10. You would be surprised how many t-shirts you're going to start selling when you make opportunities. That's how I want you to look at it. I always tell people, I don't sell anything. I create opportunities. I have opportunities for you to come into my world as a manager, for you to come into my world as a client with one of my programs. I don't sell anything. I create opportunities. That's the way I want you to treat these Facebook Lives. You're creating opportunities. Some of you get real nervous when it comes to asking for the money. Don't ask for the money. Give them an opportunity to support you. The other thing I want you to try to remember is if you can get your phone on a tripod and good lighting, you don't have to have a fan fancy equipment to be able to do this. You just got to make sure that it's a steady shot the closer you are, the better without it being all up in your face. I mean, I've seen people where you can't even see their whole head. So you don't want to get too close, but you still want to feel like you're having a conversation with people. Almost like 
half social distancing, you know, maybe three feet away from two feet away. The reason for that is so that you can still see their names. So you can still be interactive with them. If you're too far away, then the thought is, well, they're too far away. You want them to feel like they're close to you. So good lighting, get yourself a tripod. Now what's super cool is Instagram is going to allow you to start saving your lives into your IGTVs. So right now, if you just go on and do a couple songs, you can save that and repurpose it at a later date, as long as you keep it under 10 minutes right now. I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit, so be on the lookout for future uh, videos. Hannah and I are gonna go in and play with IGTV to say, oh my goodness, they'll let us take a 30 minute live now and put it in there. If that's the case, that's fantastic. Also too, is don't be afraid to take a portion of your live and start running Facebook and Instagram ads towards it. Get more eyeballs on this. That's how you're going to build your audience. We can't always assume that people are going to find you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go out and make sure that you find them. There's hundreds of videos online about how to run Instagram and Facebook ads. We've actually shot a couple ourselves. There's people that do a much better job of it than me. But I really want you to just treat it like it's a show. Treat it like people are already there. Don't plug too much stuff in. You know, the more stuff you put in, the more likely things are to go wrong. Also, if you're trying to run multiple cameras and the streaming is really bad, don't do that. Get a tripod, get your phone, show up, be consistent, acknowledge people. Don't be afraid to create opportunities for them to purchase your music, for them to purchase your, your, uh, your merch. But more importantly, have fun. I just, I, I want you to have fun. And the best way to have fun is having confidence. And the best way to have confidence, and I'm going to leave you with this tip that I give all the artists. I've used it with Taylor. I've used it with everyone that I've ever worked with. Practice in front of a mirror. Let, take a look at what other people are seeing. If you're making all these crazy faces, that's what other people are seeing as well. Practice in front of the mirror. That's the pro tip that I want to leave you with today. Hey, I would love to share more of these videos with you. If you'd like to get notified right below this video, hit the bell. Also too, is we'll make sure that you go back, watch some of the past episodes. There's a lot of good stuff. A lot of people releasing music right now. Two of the more popular episodes are what I told people what to do before they release a, a song and what to do after releasing a song. Those opportunities are there. And then just recently, I had a great conversation with Seth Mosley from Full Circle Music. Seth is, you know, 28 number one songs. He's won Grammys. Uh, check out some of the past videos and I would love it if you would leave a comment and share. I want to know what you're thinking. I want to know what subjects you might want me to touch on. And more importantly, I just want to get a chance to get to know you. All right. So hit me up on Instagram at Rick Barker Music and I will see you inside the next video.